There we go. I was wondering what take it so long. I was trying to get the stream to pop up. There it goes. We are live. Welcome, folks, to your live horror entertainment. Welcome to the Scotty Blade Show, and welcome to the worldwide premiere of a highly anticipated game for me. I have heard nothing but absolutely incredible things about tonight's feature presentation, Faith, the Unholy Trinity. It's about an exorcist, and this exorcism is not approved by the Vatican, and the demons that haunt this exorcist as he travels around in a highly artistic and atmospheric presentation of what a lot of folks are saying is one of the most slow building and, and scariest horror games ever made. I am incredibly, incredibly excited to present this game to you folks here tonight. If you're in the audience, if you have answered the call to justice, if you brought your holy water, if you're wearing your flannel, your official vestments, best, if you brought your holy water, if you brought your official vestments here, to help us slay the evil away. And you've come to the right place. Welcome, folks, to Boom Town. And let me just show you the aesthetics we're going to be dealing with here tonight. There it is. Holy crap. I don't know what any of these words mean. They're in Latin. But this is and this is a brand new game. For those of you that thought maybe the game was a little old, it's, it's not old, old. It's 2022 came out last year, but the entire, well, it didn't come out last year, the entire trilogy was put together in the Unholy Trinity. So there's three chapters, Faith Chapter 1, Faith Chapter 2, and Faith Chapter 3, and they promise to be some of the most intense, gruesome, horrifying, and scary stuff you've ever seen on the big screen. But we're going to give it the League of Blades treatment. We're going to give it the Trial by Blades. We're going to give it our style. We're going to go through this with a smile on our face. A boomstick up the demon's ass, and a hero salute to all the folks we send back to where they belong. Evil place, I don't know. Rachel Boatwright, Daniel O'Reilly, Zach Buck, let us know if you're in the audience. Welcome. Thad Boatwright, Atreyu Lender, Intense, Chelsea, Philip Delosh, Mike Ratliff, Brianna, Coral Scars, Amber Murphy, Christian Clam, Trickster DZ. Jordan Cooper, welcome back, everybody, and welcome to Boomtown. And let us begin our playthrough of Faith, the Unholy Trinity. Don't forget, folks, to leave your mark on the broadcast. Leave a like on the stream. Prepare to get yourself scared. Get cozy. Get ready. Also, Super Chats and uh, becoming a member is the best way to support this broadcast. And at any point tonight, if you want to send a funny blurb, to add your own comedic style to the show, do it, man. It's a live broadcast. That's that's League of Blades style. We bumble around here. All right. Audio checks are good. Mods are saying the sound is good. Microphone sounds good. Let us a big A. Uh, go back to the main menu. Begin. <laughs> I can't get out of the menu. I guess... Oh, it translates from stupid to American by just floating over it. Okay, so that's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and then marathon mode. We're going to start with chapter one. Faith, chapter one. Continue, new game. No, new game. Back, flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. I guess flashlight mode. Lantern mode not yet unlocked. Confirm set, that's fine. Mickey John Moxon has become the newest member. Just let me start the stupid game. Oh, there we go. Hello, Karen. Man, the music. 
I'm going to turn the audio up a little bit for you guys to hear it. So we have been called, well actually we've not been called, this, this exorcism is not approved by the Vatican. Have you forgotten already? This force has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you can always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Red space is the exit button. All right, I don't even know where I'm going. There's beautiful deer. Run deer for the exorcist is here. You know what that means. If a deer is running, that means it's evil. We are here to slay. Hello, Alanda. What the flying backdoor alien zombie is that? Ah! Oh, I can holy it. Well, let's go back and holy that thing. Nobody makes Scotty Blades run for his life. Where did he go? Come back, I must holy you. Hey, dear. Did you see that crawling white monster of death? Ooh! Hey, what's up, Chris? Chris! With the first super chat of the night, welcome to Bo Hey Kendra, it uh it talked to us. Whatever that thing was, it it talked to us. It said, forgive me. Creepy. Get out of here, dear. You don't need any of this. You've seen this before. This is new to me. But by all means. Give us a hand if I get stuck. I think I'm trying to make my way to a house. Oh, yeah. Every great horror story starts at a giant house out in the middle of Day Woods. <laughs> Let's go inside and see who's been posing. Oh, well, have you tried giving it Christ? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> you gotta imagine that a, a cross... Like, is, you, you can get it in there and give it a... Like, that almost looks like a key, just... By the way, this is totally not a key to get away on Blades HQ. Don't think that's the case. Alright, um... So, if the front door is locked... Maybe I need to find some kind of key somewhere. I love the music. Nice cross. Thanks, man. I always keep on close to me. <laughs> the power of Christ unlocks you. What are the controls? Crux. Man. Uh. Uh. I guess we just have to figure that out on our own. Oh, shit. Enter. That's exactly I don't know how to... what the Undertaker told John Cena. Hey, you guess you could kind of call me the Undertaker if you wanted to. I get it from the eight-legged freaks. Okay. Poop on it. How would pooping on a lock on a door that's haunted help whatsoever? Good evening, Marcelo. No! <laughs> Worship me! No! <laughs> I don't know why I said that like what? Jack what Black from Tenacious D. No! <laughs> Hey, Daniel. We free the spirit. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. 
I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get the response from them. All the best. Huh. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut. Cool. Is he dead? Okay, ah! that didn't work. So am I just supposed to run around in the woods and find the key for the people who've actually seen the game before? Can I holy fire this rock? No! No! Does the tree have the key? No! Hey, I'll, I'll give my entire kingdom away for a key. Ooh, who was that? Fire! It says here in my notes, public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Who just leaves a card like that laying around? Oh, it's a public lecture on Connecticut's history. I thought people were walking around handing out cards saying, would you like to join wow. our Satanism and beast system? That's what I thought. That is not the case. <laughs> would you like to join our Satanism and beast system? Who is this purple guy we keep seeing out of the corner of our eye? Another abandoned shack. The Martin's house lies a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road the road we came in on, I think. There's an almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel patch. I think some of the audience got it in the wrong hole. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father, oh, another exorcist. Father Allrad seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allrad explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with... with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Turn down the arcade sound. I don't know if that sounds any better. I don't know if that sounds any better. Hey, the key! Okay, we got the key, but at what cost? Oh, oh, oh shit, oh, Christ compel you! I'm pretty sure that's how they teach you to do it in the Vatican. Oh shit, Christ compel you. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said my my. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Francois Sapa, flash ain't no dude. You guys can't take anything serious, can you? You just can't do it. It's not in your body, is it? You just can't handle it. <laughs> One time you need Mel Gibson. Hey, I got it. Me and JC are cool. Me and JC are cool. That made you jump? Oh, it's just getting started, man. This game gets incredibly intense. Also, uh... There you go. <laughs> No! That's, that's why I was so excited to play this game. I know that we are going to make this the most memorable playthrough of Faith the Unholy Trinity that the internet has ever seen. We're going to give it the League of Blades treatment, which is going to consist of 900 farts, 32 Darth Vader yells of no, about 19 of them stupid-ass Jensen Ankle songs. Did Amber bring the toilet water? She is the toilet. All right, now, 
Drop better, I can hear you better. Oh, why didn't the mods tell me it was so loud? Thank you, John. I don't know what that thing is, but I don't like it. I'm sure we'll probably figure out what that thing is the longer we get. I can't hear you because I don't have my glasses on. Oh, you're high? Well, I know why Brianna didn't tell me, because she's high. Brianna, why did... She's high. She's high. Do I want a tip? Sure, give me a tip. But not a dick. I like a piece of information. We have the key. We are back in the house. If you believe I will walk into this house and not die, leave your mark on the broadcast with a like. Let Papa Blades know that I'm not alone out here in the darkness. You guys have came with me on this exorcism, and you're here to help me cast out the demons. Hey, Brandon. I'm stuck. But not really. I was joking. There's a coat rack in the corner of this house. There's a note by the... Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch, which is the house we're in right now. Hey, Heather. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Do, 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 do. Give Jesus to the clock. Walk around the clock. Take a look at the picture. Exercise the demons from the family portrait. The demon apparently really doesn't like deer. From what I've seen, you can use the deer as a quick diversion. Get away in a tight spot. Very good. So there is the family of the house that we are at. That's Mr. Martin. That's Mrs. Martin. And apparently that's the daughter that got possessed by De Matt Damons. Oh boy. God, I can't wait to get into this game. It's going to be so much fun. Going to I've come for your pickle. <laughs> Matt Damon's in this game? Sure. So there's a banana and an apple. I wonder why the music stopped. <laughs> that says Katie, I think, on it. With some kind of giant black demon monster thing and then a maybe a little dude in a red robe. A midget wizard! <laughs> Abracazam! Not sure why I did that voice for a midget wizard, but whatever. <laughs> it made sense in my brain. Bush. Did it say Nate? I wonder why we're here for. I guess we're here to investigate maybe why the original exorcist that showed up here is no longer with us anymore. There's the living room. Here's the bedroom. Hello, Saul. I don't see anybody in the bedroom. You know, the first thing I do, I don't know if you guys do the same thing that I do or not, but when I go to a new motel or a new house, if I'm staying there, the first thing I do is run head first and jump on the bed. Is that just me? I can't exercise the, uh, I can't exercise the coat hanger. <laughs> Up the stairs. Oh. <gasps> Now, listen, my eyesight's not what it used to be. I thought in the game Sons of the Force that a long line of red things was a blood trail. In fact, it was kayaks. But me eyes make me think that that is probably a blood trail. Let's investigate! Holy power! Holy power! Can I exercise on the bike? No. Nope. Let's see what's inside this room right here. Oh, I can't get in there. Never mind, false alarm, I can't go in there. But I can exercise this ducky out of the bathtub, which is dripping with water. Bullshit. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. 
I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Hurry, Bob! Oh, something was there. Hurry, Bob. I can't take care of these kids by myself, Bob. How many kids are in this house? There's the one possessed kid, and then she said twins and boys. But I'm pretty sure the possessed person's the daughter, I thought. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. Oh, no! It was the doll! I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could have been from over there. Well, that's racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at this clinic. Oh, my God. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. <gasps> We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of decap whoa, I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for the help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Oh boy, hey Night Shroud. Hey, turn on your gifted subs, folks, because Betty has gifted out a sub to somebody out there in the audience. You just have to turn on your gifted subs to receive it, and you're just in time. As I exercise the demons. Whoa. Hello, Mark. So this is one of the kids' rooms. There's one of them little things. There's the Etch-A-Sketch. Amber! Turn on your gifted subs! I'm so excited to watch this! Doesn't watch. So I can't exercise any of the toys. All right. Cool. Hmm. You did turn it on. It still didn't work. Huh. Well, Kendra got it. <laughs> I thought Kendra already had one. Hey, we'll take it. Well... I think I've explored all there is to explore in the house, unless this this is the basement. Okay. The basement is where the original exorcism took place. I wonder why the music died. Did John Tricky kill the music? Andy D, what's up, buddy? Welcome to Boomtown and Philip Delosh. Thank you so very much for gifting a membership. How do I get back here? Here we go. Nope, I seem to be stuck. Help. Help. How do I get back here? Huh. How do I get back there? Maybe go up and around? You killed the music, that's right. That's how I get back there. Dear Amy, Thanks for writing. I really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you ask, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? Uh, the Virginia police that watch through your window to make sure that you're doing it. Did you know that there are police? Well, there's not police. There's an old common law in the state of Virginia that says that you cannot have sex any other way than missionary. I wish that when I was in law enforcement, I was in the sex division so I could watch through windows to make sure. Hey! Hey! You all behaving in there? You doing it missionary like you're supposed to? There's an actual old common law that says that. 
The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice kombucha. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Oh my God. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15 years old. When we asked him if we had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Morete. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Morete, and the figures were made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Leighton, these nuts. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> America. So there's some leaks in the basement. Cowgirl, GTFO. There's literally an old common law that says that you uh, have to... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know one of these things is going to be the demons. Activating crucifix. Nothing. 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 All right, cool. We're fine. None of, the, none of these are the demons. What did Amber say? I'm sure something about my tits are great or something like that. You don't trust this room. Oh, no. What's the penalty for breaking the law? You know, wise ass, I uh, I never looked that up. I think it's something. He is here. I mean, get back, Damon. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does that mean I win? That's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Mortis is Latin for get sucked off and go to bed. That's what happened. Was that Grimace from McDonald's? Come on, Amber. I get you. Woo, woo, woo. Ah! <laughs> Mortis. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're learning. We're learning. He is here. We're learning. I don't know how you can tell who's who. How do you know which one's the real Damon? <laughs> okay, she says I can. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm the best exorcist that ever put on a tunic. Or a... You know what I mean. How do I get out of here? So the blood trail tells me when she's coming, but I don't know which one's her whenever, you know, she's killing me. Can I stop her? Or do I just make... Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I stop her or do do am I supposed to fight her or am I supposed to run? She is here. 
Have you ever had a holy bribe? Deal. You're supposed to mortise her? Yeah, but, like, can I actually do that? You're asking us? Uh, some of you guys said you've seen this game before. You're asking us. Well, apparently I can't escape, so we're going to have to fight her. Mono e demano. Did you pick the background? I didn't touch anything. This is part of the game. He is here. You're here. Smash that like button, folks. Let us know you're enjoying this crazy trip down a horror game that I never thought that we would show on this channel. And I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. See, these, ga these games are already 20 times better than them high graphic games that we played today. There's already more character, more atmosphere. I already care more about the characters. It's I get you. Can leave. Am I supposed to leave? Help me, dear. Help me, dear. Help. Take her to Indonesia. What does Indonesia have to do with anything? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Johnson's sixth birthday. Oh, Nate and Jason are the twins. Or they're forest clowns, so Amber was right all along. Run, dear. Save yourself. Tell my story. See you, losers! <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought I could just leave. Apparently, I can't. I didn't mean to... That wasn't a retreat. I was just going back to make sure that my car was locked. And in the meantime, let's thank some folks who have... There's still two memberships out there to be claimed. Amber... <laughs> Betty Justice and Philip Delage, thanks for gifting some subs. Thad Boatwright, thanks for gifting the sub. Thanks for sponsoring some new heroes. Claim these nuts. Well, I'm just going to shut my mouth because there's no sense in talking to the chat about anything. And it's my own mods. Claim your subs claim your members. Claim these nuts, Scotty! Then don't claim them. I don't give a shit. Got him. It's my own mod doing it. Do you want the damn memberships or not? Yes, there's two sitting right there, Amber. Or you, you're... Where's Grimace? I'm chasing her off. Kendra, you've watched this game. What am I supposed to do? Hey, Melissa. Kendra! Kendra! Tiffany, hey. Kendra, what am I supposed to do? This isn't working. What about this? She is here. She is here. She is here. This game's so cool, man. I love this game. Throw your cat? I'm going to throw you in a second, John. Daddy. Daddy. Even the demons are calling me daddy. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Suck it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab your monitor. Alright. 
throw them out the window? It's a, okay. I bleed. I bleed. Husband, I love the hair. Thank you, Tiffany. I just didn't style it, but I'm glad you like, oh, I, was, I bet you I was supposed to take her downstairs. Daddy. Lift the desk. What if I was supposed to take her downstairs to where the original ritual happened? I bet you I'm supposed to take her over here to the symbol. Oof. I don't know what you're saying. I don't speak old rusty doo-doo language. Oh boy. Kick the hamsters. Please, guys, something productive that'll help. I heard a door open upstairs. I heard a door to open upstairs. I better go upstairs to investigate to find out what has happened upstairs where I was just at. Because I heard a door open. <gasps> I bet the door upstairs that opened was the door that had the blood trail leading to it. I'm going to take a suggestion from chat now as to how to exercise this demon. Did you try 6969? This is why I don't ask the League of Blades for help. I think you go upstairs. Thank you, Daniel. Even though the game already told me that fucking clue. What a great job you did by giving us a hand by saying the shit that was already said. Way to go, loser. You did it. 6969 is not the correct answer. Once again, as I repeat myself out loud for the 90th time, that's not the right answer. Here we go. Here's a note on the ground, and I'm going to read it. Hello, Melissa. How are you? Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you that their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it first from me. Or as read by somebody from the League of Blades. D's nuts, 69, fart, fart, ha ha, 420, 69. Is this mortuary's assistant, 69, boobs, 69. Ha ha, how's your cat, 69, take a poop. I love the movie Fern Gully, 69. As translated by the League oh of Blades. God! That helped too. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own blankety blank. Holy crap. So there's stuff missing in the report, but it basically says, when I confronted her, she cut the power and killed my dad, or my parents, or something like that, or her parents. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her if I don't come back now. Nah, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Let's just follow the blood trail. Help! Oh, it's just twirly tassels. Go, twirly tassels, go! Go, twirly tassels, go! Go, twirly tassels, go! Go! Show the demon the movie Fern Gully. I'm gonna show you where the door's at. How's that sound? <laughs> My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Woo! Take that! And one of these! Have another paralyzer! How about some justice? Who is this loser? Listen, I can't even kill one demon, much less you. Well, that was fun. Mortis. Yeah, yeah. Mortis. Finger bang it. Spirit, tell me I'm pretty. Here we go. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? Very pretty. I have to finish what I started. Hello, Amanda. She's my priest. This is such a cool game, man. Take one of these. Okay. I'm going to give her the business. As I invoke the power of this lowercase t, justice, and all things good in this world. And then whoever this Among Us looking guy is going to do some kind of weird dance around me. He's faster than me. When 
you guys playing the organ? No, 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 no. Help, 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 help. Oh my God. She's so fast. This is a boss battle. This is the first boss battle of the game. Okay, I'm locked in. You guys lock in by hitting the like button. Here we go. Holy crap. That's nuts. Jesus, Jones! I can only Morty. push the down button so fast. Hello, Nightmare, what's up? Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare! I'm turning as fast as my body will let Morty. me! <laughs> I don't mind seeing this scene over and over again. This scene is incredible. I can't turn Morty. that fast! I don't need chip, I can't turn that fast! Try to run, I'm Morty. trying, it's not working. This game was rotoscoped by hand. I don't know what that means, but the last time somebody brought something roto around me, they stuck it up my ass to check my colons. I don't like that word. Morty. All right. Are you supposed to dodge? I bet you I'm actually supposed to dodge. Cause nightmare saying try to run. So I bet you I'm supposed to dodge. Dodge, it's harder than it looks. Rotoscoping is drawing animation on top of a real photo. Okay. Ooh, I did it, guys. Help. Borgies. Shut up, Robocop. You don't know me. I got it. Thank you for rotoscoping. She is fast. Run. Help! She is one tough daemon. Will you guys lay off that stupid organ, please?
my cross isn't working anymore. Close with the organ case. <laughs> I can see the hammer back there now. I'm doing better just not playing the game. You have to keep running. I was doing better just not playing the game. That's true, Ren. What does this cross More even days. do? She just runs the pentagram. She did it. She just took me out. I don't know what direction she runs. Plays organ louder. She does not have a pattern. She doesn't have a pattern. Maybe she's got a pattern. Damn, I got game bugs. Darn it! I thought maybe if I didn't move, I'd, I would live. She's not following the demon star, you ninny! So how do I hurt her? You're a ninny. That's creepy. How do I hurt her? How do I hurt her? Tell her she's not pretty. You're a dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the lowercase t holy bribble I think when she gets done doing her little pattern I can hit her with the cross so we're gonna let her do her little hit her when she's not blinking okay I'm a pro. Don't say a word. I'm a pro. That's like watching that cutscene. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Number three. Okay. Huh. I did hurt her. I can hurt her when she's not doing the pentagram. Fudge and boo-boo nappers. Shut up. I can hurt her while she's doing the thing. Level up? Thank you, wise ass. You're the best. No, I can't. reason I heard it that time, but I don't know how. Oh shit. Damn it, I got stuck. Boy, don't forget geez. to collect your runes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's 
Scotty would make a right terrible play. Better at it than you. Loser. Help! Ah! God, this is hard. This is harder than any modern game. Shit on it, and everybody that likes this game is. Yeah, I can beat him. I ain't worried about it. I can beat him. I can't turn that fast. I can't turn with Wazda that fast. <laughs> I just like seeing this cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you exercise some demon, crusty crab. Huh? Boy. All right, everybody, be quiet. I, or not be quiet. Everybody, be cool. I'm gonna beat this. So uh, y'all keep chatting amongst yourselves, and I'm gonna beat this. Whatever her name is. Watch this. Okay, everybody be cool. I'll watch this. I'm gonna beat her. Watch this. Everybody be cool. Everybody be cool. Watch this. I got her. Watch this. Everybody be cool. I got her. I got her, don't worry about it, guys. I got her. No, I got her, don't worry. I got it. Don't worry, I got her. Don't worry. I got her. Don't worry, I got it. I got her. Don't worry about it. We got her. We got it. We got it. No problem. Okay, I think if I get inside of our circle of death, then I die. We got it. No problem. We got it. Here we go. First try. If I get inside of our circle of death, Scotty dies. Take that, demon! If I get inside of her circle of death, we got a problem, but I'm not going to, you see? See, the trick, guys, see, I'm just trying to teach you this. The trick is to not get in her circle of death. That's the trick. It's so simple, everybody. Just don't get in her circle of death. 
not hard. Yeah, no, no, Just avoid her circle of death. Easy. Our circle of death is getting a little wider now. <laughs> a little harder to dodge. Okay. I turned the wrong way, which is customary. Stuck. That's fine. And I once again turn the wrong way. As is tradition. Did I kill her? Or exercise her? Same thing. Get exercise, bitch! <laughs> See ya, loser. <laughs> oh my god! She just... She... She... Boo! <laughs> right out of the window! Hey, everybody! First try. See? It's simple. It's simple. You just stay out of her death zone of death, and you're gonna... You See, it's Are just... Are you an insane? It's just big brain moves out in, out in here. I must go. My planet needs me. All right. See you later. She just yeeted right out the freaking window, man. She, see, that's what happens when enough exercising goes on. Like spandex. Oh, I got you. I just realized the joke, Crimson Dragon. And enough spandex. She couldn't handle all that lowercase t action. All right, well, Amber didn't take her membership, even though Betty and Philip gifted to. The demon comes back That's in. Whoever. Neat trick. That sense of yours. The demon comes back in the house. Whoever is the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Don't laugh at her. I'm pretty sure that mannequin's got a face drawn on it. It sure does. It sure does. Well, that, uh, even in 8-bit graphics, was one of the most intense boss fights I have ever been through as a professional monster hunter. I really enjoyed that. But now the demon is loose upon the land, and I, the lone blue JPEG, must kill it. Because, you know, oh... Chat, we got ourselves a mystery. Re Lick. <gasps> Are they trying to tell me something? Is it Fern Gully? Are you are you explaining Fern Gully? Are you trying to describe Fern Gully? Is it Fern Gully? Is it Fern Gully? Oh, it's Killer. Oh. Well, that's not as fun. Is it Jaws? Egon with one bullet. Egon with one bullet. Oh, yeah. It says Poon. <laughs> It says Poon. The owner of the Poon. Your flaps are showing. Poon Gully. So I got this boomstick with one shot in it. I should probably put my second hand on the space bar in case I gotta shoot it. We can't blow our load too fast, chat. We only got one round in this gun. Use the bullet wisely. Elonda. I am fighting every urge in me to not blow it just all over the place. Just come on! 
We go from cross to shoot with a gun, snazzy. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Well, that wasn't my original question, but snazzy, will you please answer the question? Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is that a fox? Same Z's. Fox squirrel, fox squirrel. Just hum the Sonic the theme song. Sonic the Hodge. Fuck it. I'm going to bed. That tree doesn't have any bushes on it. Who took the bush from this tree? Why bush from tree gone now? Who took my bush from my tree? Who killed my squirrel and took my bush from my tree? Why? Why you be this way? Hey, my car. The owner of the white sedan, please come exercise the demon. Not Sonic the Hodge, yeah, Sonic the Hodge. Think about Grandma and count ABC. See, that's why I did Sonic the Hedgehog, so I wouldn't have to think about Grandma. Cause that's just weird. Hello, dear. Why are you not running? Get on out of here, dear! I'll raise the Scotty. Zanny. I'll raise the Scotty boy. Um. I sure hope no. Are you Forest Clowns? Yeah, I'm. Who's this one nut Chad out here in the woods? You seen a demon around here? Hi, Scotty Blake. <laughs> Hi, Scotty Blaze, professional exorcist, and the guy runs off. Ho, 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 ho. He said the word professional. Don't tell Todd LaRue what to do. Why the hell would I want to tell Todd? <laughs> Why would I want to tell Todd LaRue what to do? He's his own man. You out here, Damon? <laughs> <laughs> Dom, back to the squirrel again. You think these are what they call clues? Probably not. Did you try handing him a Jesus pamphlet? I'm not here to blaspheme. You can, Amber, but I'm... Me and JC are cool. I just said pamphlet! I should follow the trail. Where are you, Damon? Okay, we're back at the house. I'm gonna go straight this time. Oh, I gotta go in the house? I was just in the house. She wasn't in there. Was she? <laughs> Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus pamphlet? <laughs> you think I shoot that guy? <gasps> What's this? It's just graffiti. Or should I shoot the deer? I guess I'll go back to the house. It says killer. Forest semen. Oh my god. Maybe she's in the basement? Alright, I'll go check the basement. I thought we fought her in the basement. She jumped out the window, right? So she should be outside. She should be. She should be. You down here, Satan? Go shoot the gray man. I only have one bullet. You sure I should? Yeah, I fought her in the attic. Must not read this note earlier. 
Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical. Ah! And the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allrad asked me to take the Martins by stairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up. You don't have to actually carry them, young man. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much, so okay, that's fine. The demon in the forest has a name. Its name is Michael. Should I yell Michael from the top of my lungs? Mikhail! Mikola! Michel! <laughs> Mikael! Michel! On a You know what I am? You know I am? Uh, I'm not sure why I turned into a Japanese steakhouse, but forgive me. I'm just going to waddle down this way, I guess. Should I, should I seriously shoot the gray guy? I'll do it. I'll shoot everybody here. What's up, Tyler? Just in time to help me shoot some demon. With a shotgun, I guess. Waddle, 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 waddle. Any minute now. Relic. Yeah. I think it says killer, but I said relic as a joke. Where the hell are you, demon? Kendra and Alanda, you guys have seen this game. Should I shoot the gray dude? He's the only person I've seen the entire time so far. Or should I shoot this deer? Or should I follow the deer? Follow the deer. Yes. A puddle. Of justice. Some more woods. Of justice. Can you go to the great dude's house? I don't think so. Okay, there's that stupid squirrel again. I'm just going to shoot some random guy outside of a shack. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Is this Relic Gully? Not you too, Glenn. Glenn! Don't shoot the gray guy? Are you sure? Back at the house! What is going on? I'm shooting the gray guy. Nobody laughs at Scotty Blades. My dick's huge. Now, if I can just find this shack with the gray guy. Hi, I'm Ed. No! Scotty's tiny hands. Did you hit him? Are we Did absolutely you... sure what direction we're going? Did you hit him? Did it look like
I am so confused. If I walk in the same direction for long, what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It all goes the same way. It doesn't matter. I'm lost. Eat shit, dear God. I can't find my way out of this never ending eight bit horror. <laughs> oh, look, a squirrel. Mm, suck his guzzards out. Yeah, live. Survive off nature. Try the map. I ain't got a map, Precious. I ain't got one of those. Do you have a map, Precious? <laughs> Oh look, I'm back right. It's like a treadmill. And it never stops being bullshit. You think that squirrel looks like a fire pit? <laughs> Maybe it is a fire pit. You need some dinner? We'll go eat. Are you okay? Okay. Are you okay? Okay. Hey, Scotty and the Retro Blades, how's Oregon Trail treating you? It's not Oregon Trail, Nathan. <laughs> Cleanse me, cleanse me, rawr, rawr, cleanse me of the bullshit. Rawr. Well, at least I got my shotgun bullet back. Hooray! Hooray! A dog with one bullet. There is music playing, but um, John, maybe turn it down so low you can't hear it. But there is music playing. dies to dysentery for the last time nathan this isn't oregon trail this is a much cooler more awesome horror game called faith no more you want it all but you can't have it yeah, 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 it's in your face. My told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said, my, my. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Hey, Francois is above, flash ain't no dude. Make your own damn jokes, I'm done. Make your own jokes. I'm out.
When faith endures. Imagine when the pro gets stopped. You got a little demon in your undercarriage. Is that so, officer? So ha there's five endings to this game? Police, animal experts, investigators. The Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by well, a motorist yesterday. To visit your mother. <laughs> the tourist yesterday, the animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a police officer. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation wouldn't speculate about what kind of animal had been hit, although the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. It oh! Get it? Because the, uh, the one demon-possessed kid was stuck in the basement, chained up, and was got the rickets. Has rickets. Hey, new background unlock. New character mode unlock. I did it. There you go, chat. We beat chapter one of Aaron Dwarf Games. New, my new blood. Hallelujah. That was only the first chapter.
Chapter 2, folks, faith. Chapter 2. There's more chapters? Whoa. Man, they don't play around, man. You've already started the game. Here we go. I'm in some old guy's basement, and he's got the bribal. Let's read this note and figure out what's happening. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to replace, release Father Garcia. Who cares what Father Garcia's got to say? This says, could a woman possess our PS5? I do possess on PS5. On PS5 is right here beside of me, and I've turned it on nine times this year. It's a good system. I love it. I do possess on PS5. On the PS5. Catherine Holmquist with the second super chat of the night. Not any super chat. A heroic 10 spot. A $10 super chat, folks. Show the love. Sheesh. <laughs> Show the love. Finger bangs all around. Catherine Holmquist supporting the broadcast with the $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home. Oh, I've got somebody in my custody? Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the... Representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their desecration. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Alright, whatever you say, card boy. Give me my Bible, please. Give me my Bible. Give me my Bible. I am Father Garcia and I want my Bible. Give me my Bible. I apparently have somebody in custody here that I need to relinquish back to the church. So, here we go. Here's my Bible. I want back my Bible. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Why do I have Polaroids of a kid smiling? This is day one of creepy Polaroid kid. Oh, is this Michael Davies? Oh, I bet you this is Michael Davies. Holy possession! Holy possession! Here's day one. He looks fine. He's okay. He's a happy kid. Possession day two, or two weeks. Wow! I mean, you are a priest. Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. You cannot. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. He needs some milk. This is a different kid than the one that we've dealt with in chapter one. But they look the same. Interesting. Oh no! skin. This crap gives me the heebie-jeebies, man. I don't like it. Oh, crap. Is the 
power out? Father Garcia. Oh, yeah, the power's out. Power's definitely out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I knew it. You get back here, little shit. Get exercised. Did you see, guys? He took his most recent picture. What are you doing? <laughs> That's an eyeball! Woo! <laughs> Why are we doing Why do we have windows? Oh, there I go. Just side scrolling my little heart out. <laughs> that was an eyeball that dripped out of his mouth. Okay. We're back in the woods, probably in the same area where the other thing thing. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good place to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. Okay. Oh, dear! Man, not any kind of deer. The drippings and droppings and outer casings of a deer, but it's been. I mean, that's kind of seasonal. You know, my Native American grandparents used to decorate our Christmas tree with uh, recycled antlers and bones of deers. But not like this. More decorative, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, you better suspend some crap. That ain't no chupacabra out here wandering around in the woods. Man. Am I still Father Garcia? Aha. Uh -huh. Evil spirits be gone from this house. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Is that a dude? I mean, it technically is a dude. It's a statue. Dearest disciple, verily, not to everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessings of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family. Tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. <laughs> Why Gary? Can't exercise that. Can't exercise that. Can't exercise that. Enter the spirit house. Okay. Who are these people? Who's this supposed to be? Wow. These guys are incredibly detailed. Wow, he's got a wiener in his... Wait a second! These guys are covered in satanic symbols. Okay, he showed me a key. How do I get my hands on the key? Don't kill me, bro. I'll kill you first. 
Oh. It's Rob Zombie. It kind of looks like Rob Zombie a little bit. Um. Oh, I must have saved the game. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Sorry, Amber, if I like art. I think Amber, I, th or I think art's cool. But, uh, maybe not. Grim Reaper. You saw Rob Zombie Charles Manson in The Last Airbender? It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38 years old, and Robert Kimball Martin. Wait a second. I think the Martins were the family from the first game. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents, their lives tragically came to an end of September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training, yes, Bob was the training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA or somebody who takes pap smears and more recently a stay at home mother they were married in 1969 <laughs> funny year though not particularly religious they taught their children to be kind generous and involved in the community a public closed casket memorial be held at the Toilinson funeral home oh man Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason They didn't make it, chat. Get out of here, death. Waddle, 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 waddle. How dare you think art's cool? I, I'm sorry. Boop. Aha! The sick for that. They'll be okay. I mean, if you believe in an afterlife, then they're going to be just fine. If you don't believe in an afterlife and you believe in reincarnation, they might be a slug. Or they might get reincarnated into a pile of... Oh, my God. Did I do that? That's not anything supernatural. I just had Taco Bell and shit out blood diarrhea real quick. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. No big deal. Uh oh! You're not an angel, you grew a wiener. Get out of here, you wiener demon! <laughs> hey Jesse, get out of here, wiener demon! Ah, wiener demon got me! So, my first impressions of this monster is hey, Robin! I gotta walk all the way back through here again? Aw, oh, that sucks. My first impressions of this monster is that it's kind of a fetus looking monster. Oh, it was tracking me. Oh, okay. Listen closely and try to figure out what he said right here. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. I don't know what he said when he died, though. 
Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. It was a fetus. Not even a little happy. Hey, Tim. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words. Just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little bit more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across... It was a fetus! First instinct! After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned me towards her. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. <laughs> not Gary. So she was pregnant with a baby. He said, delete my internet browser. She is pregnant with a baby, miscarriaged, and then the woman that was smiling at her across the street immediately got a baby. That's how Ellie was born? That's... I don't reckon that's spoilers, because that's like a five-minute prequel. Eh, whatever, we'll let it ride. Who's going to stop us? I still only suck on woman parts. I didn't care before, and I still don't care. I only suck on woman parts. Is this the 8-bit version of Mortuary Assistant? Technically, Davis, it really is the 8-bit version of Mortuary Assistant. What the hell just happened? Oh, this is a puzzle. I'm good at puzzles. Okay. I'm good at puzzles. We got this. Okay, I'm bad at puzzles. We'll come back to this in a minute. We're doomed. No, I got, I'm good at puzzles. I love everything about this game. I am way more invested in this game than any of the high definition games we've been playing. Oh, those are... Die, fetus demon! He's hiding in the clouds, y'all see that? at night oh yeah guys remember if you panic just do this that's all you have to do if there's crap going on all around you chaos is going on demon flames are coming up from the ground just stand there believe in religion or not religion believe in the holy power of justice and good you should probably fight back I'm just picking that's the baby from Witcher 3 oh yeah Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, Would you like to see your... Oh, no. Seances, man. This is hitting all the deep stuff. They asked me, Would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Her mom's friends are red flags. Hey, all the statue, the heads are moved, or the heads are released from the statue. Let the dead rest. Completely agree. Never a good idea to mess with the dead. All the statues' heads are missing now. Apparently, I still can't figure this puzzle out because I suck at games. 
Yeah, I still suck at games. I bet you we need to buy. We need to beat Super Sus. Sound like my old lantern. Super Sus. It's like. Huh. Save the game. <laughs> Google, where's the head? Okay, when we was in here earlier, there was three people. Or as chat said, Rob Zombie, <laughs> Charles Manson, and somebody else you guys said. This game is super interesting. I love this shit, man. Trent Reznor, the lead singer of Nine Inch Nails. Two of the four skulls have been, uh... I've been exercised. Exercise the demons. Big oof, what did I do? Oh, last hamburger, that's right. Exercise the demons. I don't know where else to go. Have you played Resident Evil Gaiden? Yes, I have. Not on stream, I have off stream. I, I always hesitate to play these low graphic games on stream because you just never know how people want to act about them. I love Resident Evil Gaiden. I think it's a great game. But it's it's Game Boy graphics, so I just never played it on stream. Oh, look, it's corn. Elonda and Kendra, you guys have seen this game before. What am I supposed to do right here? Do the statues tell me which directions to go? Jasmine size the demons. Okay. Right. Down, left, up. I would love to play Signalis. I that's the kind of games that I like. Right. Down. No. I thought maybe these guys pointing the directions was some kind of puzzle. You've never seen this far? Oh! This is new territory, huh? Oh! You gotta jazzercise the demons! Not the mark of the yeast. Enter the Konami code. Left, right, up, or left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, A, B, A, B, select starters, start, select. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, A, B, A, B, start, select. See ya, losers. Can I actually leave? Right, up, up, down? I can't leave. Should have known better. It's a crypt you need to go to? A crypt. Was that not where I was at earlier? Up, uh, oh, up, up. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. Okay. <laughs> You're a low graphics, Tricky. You're low graphics! So we have, if you look at the sign there, we've got two of the four. Think I should go back and touch that skull again? I'll try touching the skull. Oh, the that thing's moved. Nah, that didn't look good. Ooh, what a shot. 
This is where the parents from the last game are buried. Alright, I tried to uh, exercise in all of those and didn't do anything. Do you think maybe the, the way to go is right up, up, down? Is that from a cheat that you found, Snazzy, or is that from the statues that you saw out here? Right, up. Right, up, left. We'll try, we'll try right up, left. So right. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. Up. Better than what I was doing. Hey, you were right! Way to go, Snazzy! I've been free. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. Hey guys, let's get some finger bangs and uh, Eagles of Justice in the chat. Way to go, Snazzy. You did guess right. I guessed the last part. You got the first three. And the last part, I remember the guy doing like gold. So I decided to go north and it worked out. So our powers combined. We're the best monster hunters around. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring signs, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Oh shit. Way to go. Be right back, fix some food. Hey, we'll be here. Leave a like on the broadcast, folk. Let Papa Blades know that he's not alone here in the darkness. As we slay the evil way and faith the unholy trinity. Hey, my reflection's already in the mirror. Oh crap, I'm bleeding. Wow. Well, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Just stick a Cherokee hair tampon right up in there. Soak that bad boy right up. You'll be fine. Man, I'm really leaking. Holy crap. I'm okay again. Uh-huh. These are the statues, the three things I think I killed. At least one of them is. That is definitely not how a reflection works. Ain't none of that works. What the hell? Man. The last pure thing in the world is trees and nature and the woods i mean look at tree beard and the ints hoom, hoom, ho. the ints are going to did the tree run away it did there's nothing pure in the world anymore they're gonna make everything scary back demon tree i'm not gonna let anything be pure anymore man My Scotty senses are tingling, and they're telling me that one of these trees is going to be a Matt Damon. No, Bree, that was not a reference to Bud. I know you're high, but you're hot, so you can do whatever you want to do. Wasn't Treebeard and Fuller and Gully? How 
How about I knock you back to 1995, wise ass, and you find out? <laughs> <laughs> What's a tree for burn coley? Was a tree bear in burn coley? She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. This is an old church. Confess thy sins. I do love big boob chicks. I wish I had three in bed right now. And they all was into that stuff. That would be awesome. There, I confess my sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation to the old Snake Meadow Hill Church, which is what we're in right now. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. What? On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was most of the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the confined and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady. Hey, uh, you never got the Discord notification, Morgan? Well, sweetheart, I'm normally live around 8. I'm sorry you didn't get it, but welcome to the show. Well, I'm in no hurry. There's the purple skull on that screen. Yeah. What about big booty chicks? Oh, yeah, I, I said earlier, if I had to choose between boobs and butt, I would choose hips. Give me hips. Uh, what was the question again? Oh. We had heard evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it's had to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the... Fi it's always orphans, man! There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk into the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. I can't do it. I can't do that crap. If if I go into, like, a mental asylum, first of all, that's creepy. Crazy people losing their minds and becoming homicidal, that's creepy. But if you tell me in, in the building that the homicidal murders took place with the crazy people, that if you say, Red Roger, Red Roger, Red Roger, in the bathroom three times, the spirit of the murder will show up. I ain't doing that crap. I ain't doing that crap. I ain't doing it. I'm gonna grab a beer, be right back. I mean, like literally 10 seconds. To the no, no, to the no, no, no. I said, hell to the no. My name is Moosey J, and that's a fact. All right, we got to, uh, we got to do some stuff. Oh, we gotta go confess our sins, and the confessional box is in the next room. Let me in. I'm Father. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seats have you got to get 
this. I try to save a girl from evil. But my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry. And broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Who are you confessing to? I don't know. That's an abandoned church. There's no priest sitting in that confessional box. Who am I confessing to? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that church is abandoned. Whoa! I mean, who cares? <laughs> Get exercise, bitch! Okay, she's gone. Night one. So these are the paranormal investigators. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get these boards off some of the doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Okay, they called an EMP down here. Or EVP, I'm sorry. So they they picked something up. But the doors are still barricaded, so they apparently never got through the doors then. Cool! I mean, it sucks to be them, but cool for me. I need you. No, not from AEW. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh, crap. Things are going south for her real quick. How interested would you guys be in seeing us bring some justice to the world of WWE 2K, 2K23? <laughs> what if we brought some League of Blades justice to WWE 2K23? How fun would it be if we left our mark in the wrestling world? That'd be stupid. Stupid fun. Did that open when we walked in? Do it. What is that? Hell yeah. It would be hilarious. You know it would be hilarious. We would steal the freaking show. Absolutely steal the show. I don't know anything about wrestling. We wouldn't play on the night show, it'd be a day show. So that Muriel, if you remember the chick from the beginning of chapter one, the one that had the arm coming out of her? It'd be chaos, it'd actually be chaos. It'd be fun though. Here's a note. Night two, we're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on the camera before. Sure, doors open on their own, things falling off the shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying to let the spindly lady come again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got into all we got it all on film. We're going to make a fortune selling this on TV stations. Hell yeah! Oh, do they have, uh, everybody pick the wrestler and put them in a tournament? Do they have that kind of stuff? I'm trying to find something for us to play on the day show. We may end up playing wrestling on the day show. 
Why does this keep opening? Can I go down there? When it's time to cheer, we all yell, Meh! Watch the candle. You watch the candle. What? Watch the candles, okay. What am I watching them for? Scotty plays Goldberg every time? I absolutely would. I literally stopped watching wrestling when Goldberg retired. I said no more. And I actually watched... Oh, one candle means she's in the room? I actually stopped watching wrestling when Goldberg left. And I started watching wrestling again when Goldberg came back. And I haven't watched it since since he left. I came in gay. I came and came in gay. I came and went. <laughs> That's Goldberg. Came and gone. No! So one candle means she's in the room then, right? The <laughs> guy's upon me! <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> well, now what? I've explored all the rooms now. <laughs> Leave me alone, father. <laughs> What's up, Meisner? Who said wrestling? Uh, I'm thinking about doing for the day shows because the day, the day shows are just Scotty variety. We just we just do whatever. It doesn't matter. The night shows are horror centric. The day shows are just wake up with a whatever you wake up with Scotty Blaze. However you want to do whatever whatever we want to do doesn't matter. So I thought about doing wrestling for the day shows. There's a new wrestling game that come out just today. I just found out. Cool. I just got lucky and happened to hit the controller at the right time. He's got a little jiggle to him. Yeah, he does. He's got some swag. A little swag. Do the campaign. I would create a, a character. I'm pretty sure I would create a DAC. Some kind of DAC. She's in here. One candle, right? I thought I was out of range, dang it. That's my fault. That would probably be fun. We can make any game fun. You show that demon suit's boss, I absolutely will. We can make any game fun. What's up, Brian? How you doing, buddy? Happy Tuesday night. You're just in time. We're at an old church doing an exorcism of a demon. She's in here again. This game has been, has delivered on every expectation that I've had for it. I have freaking loved this game. 
I actually know the characters. I know the story that's going on. It never happens in games. again damn it you only got like a small window to hit her with fab five freddy told me everybody's fly dj spinning hey ted's my, here my. flash is fast flash is cool francois sapa flash ain't no dude hey happy 50th birthday to your wife hope you guys had fun tonight the guy's name for wrestling dak dak mcintyre gold dak what if we called him dak kind let's name our wrestling character tonight Deck kind. F Flash ain't no dude. I hate that song with everything in me. But I like Ted, so I allow it. Do Freddy? Absolutely not. Triple deck? <laughs> Triple D. We could call him BBGC. We could call him BBGC and make him a big boob goth chick. She's in here somewhere. Oh, Drew Dackentire? <laughs> Drew Dackentire. See that small window you have to hit her? You really gotta take advantage of it. See how small that window is? Hey, we did it, chat. No evil me everybody's in fly. DJ spinning, I said my my. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Francois Sapa, flash ain't no dude. Hi, I'm Scotty Blades, and I just want one second to revel in glory. I just slayed a demon live here in Boomtown Theater for your entertainment. And instead of letting me revel in my evil slaying monster hunting awesomeness, you ruined it with yet another rendition of Jensen Ankles singing a stupid ass song nobody cares about. Let me have a moment. Just one. One shining moment. What's good, everybody? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> What's up, Bear Clayton? Jean Claude Van Dyck. Ah, oh, as a wrestler? What if the wrestler's name was Jean-Claude Van Dyck and he did a bunch of split and like super, super ag agilic, agilic, super agile moves. That'd be cool. We killed the demon, but who cares? You guys ruined it. I think Ted has a crush on Jensen. <laughs> Take that, Ted, you boob. I thought I already exercised that demon. I thought I did. Maybe not. Maybe not. Jensen Dackles. Ha ha, he said glory. You can laugh at me all you want to as long as you leave a like on the broadcast. Remember, folks, these likes let us know you guys are liking these night shows. Okay. Killing that demon gave us access to debasement. What is in the debasement? So far, nothing but bones. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. The witching hour. Dak Daniels. That's his actual name, I tell you. 
I'm going to die inside. My soul is going to explode. <laughs> Name of wrestler. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark. A foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Ears bleeding from the screams of a demon. Dak Hogan, Malachi Dak, Triple Dax, Jean Claude Van Tricky, absolutely not. Kelvin Tripod. <laughs> Kelvin Tripod, Kelvin Blades, Dak Flair, CM Dak. What do you mean, aw? Jean-Claude Van Tricky? Absolutely not. <laughs> aw. Whoops, did I just die? No. Maybe. <gasps> I saw a body. I saw a body. Whoa, that's not natural. Heather Swanson is your favorite wrestler. Hey, Google. Is Heather Swanson real? Back, Damon. Back, Damon. Back, Damon. Razor deck. Ooh. It might be cool. Boss fight. Well, I didn't make it. <laughs> Shut up, loser. Was that Goldberg? No, that was uh, Heather Swanson. Is Kim Kardashian a wrestler? She might not. But I'm going to stick my penis in her anyway. I don't know the going rate for professional wedding singers. Is this enough for you to sing happy birthday to my wife? Her name is Sarah. Ted, did you know that in order to hire me as your wedding singer, you just have to give me free reign at both... <laughs> I laugh because it's actually my going rate. Booze and bridesmaids. As long as I get free booze and free access to the bridesmaids, then I will sing at your wedding. You have to understand that it's me singing at your wedding. So I'm going to just make up words as I go, and I'm going to play the song incorrectly, and you're just going to have to love it because it's called personality, and I have a lot of it. And we're going to sing Sarah, I assume, Wilbert. Happy birthday. Sarah, get ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ow. Happy birthday. Shut up, game. Dearest Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sarah. And all the chatters inside the chat know what to do. Let Sarah know happy birthday. And thank you so much to the Wilbert family for joining us in Boomtown as I get mauled by yet another demon. Go figure. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you. All right. Uh... <laughs> Maybe it's a... This may be a puzzle. Okay? Everybody be cool. This may be a puzzle. And it may have something to do with this. 
What do you think it is, chat? How do I figure this out? Do I got to follow the hieroglyphics? I'm taking you to the bank. The blood bank. Mortis. She thought that was awesome? Hey, I'm glad. If I can make a Wilbert smile, then my day is complete. Snazzy says... Uh, <laughs> Snazzy says, can we get a show-stopping joke? From Steven Seagull, one of his dirty dad jokes. Steven Seagull, the stage is yours, buddy. Let it rip. God, I still have that stupid picture of that guy that Josh mentioned. Hi, guys. Steven Seagull here, and I got something to say. Why do chickens wear underwear on their head? Because their pecker is on their face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, their pecker's on their face. Anyway, I had to go to the doctor because I've been having lots of irregular bowel movements. They diagnosed me with all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> I had to go to the doctor because of lots of irregular bowel movements. They diagnosed me with all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> ah, this game sucks. I love it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, oh, thank you, Stephen. <clears throat> Pretty good stuff tonight. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. High pitched scream. I ain't screaming. I'll make you scream. Okay. I don't make the jokes. I just pay for them. Okay. 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 <laughs> these are muscles and these are muscles you muscles this muscle huge muscle big muscle huge muscle big muscle me big iq 69 420 i figured that out crimson dragon and i didn't even have to know what was going on and i figured it out huge giant brain hole like the stream like the stream anyway big boobs yes please the ads for scotty blades wedding singer are you getting married need a singer do you have a small budget hire scotty blades will he sing the right words no will he sing on key also no i sing on key i just don't sing the right words we built this city on socks and rolls. We built this city. Hey, you know the word. We built this city on mold and drones. <laughs> then I kick over a fondue stand. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Mother. Uh, let's see here. Mother. Of Damon's. Oh, Matt Damon's mom is here. Bridesmaids. Oh yeah. Uh, 
The only reason why I didn't stay a virgin while I was single was because I slayed a lot of bridesmaids. <laughs> hey, babe, I know you're horny because you're at a wedding and I have a dick. You want to do something about it? Okay, here we go. Mom, dad is being weird again. Ooh, shit, the deer are here. Run, deer. Animals always run from danger. Oh, that's probably why. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Oh, God, this is the uh, paranormal investigators that we saw earlier. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night. And what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder? Sandra Attawood, <laughs> Angel Nogales, and Troy Ingalls are the name of the victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Reg... Regnant? Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols and blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to the last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward, the exorcist. Ward was impersonating a per Oh my God! The main character from the first game. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to mourn, not to mourn, the loss of Atwood, Nagalis, or Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped them off their heads. That's what it says, off their heads. Because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the goddess of this world. Pandemonium regnat satana vadi. Pandemonium regnat satana vitai. Pandemonium. I'm not reading that out loud. But you get it. I'm here, John. <laughs> I'm going to need another sip of the good stuff before I go any farther. Holy shit, this stuff gives me the heebie-jeebies. Where are the Winchesters? Do you see 
any Winchesters around here, you got me. I'm the professional. I do this every single day. Me, Scotty Blades, Monster Hunter, Evil Slaying Extraordinaire. We don't need no god dang Winchesters. I'm already here. <laughs> Where are the Winchesters? Hey, Des. <laughs> Ow, my fingers! Well. Am I Damon? What am I drinking? A Voodoo Ranger. IPA. But, in my old age, I only drink two now. So that my gut does not completely rot and I feel like shit forever. And guess what? I got a Gatorade right here. Ready to go. So as soon as I drink this second, I'm going to drink Gatorade and feel real good. Hey, Chuck Green. Feel real good. You know what else feels real good? Hitting that like button. Oh, yeah. Real good. <clears throat> and also, uh, Cat Holmquist, who was only here for a second and left. Ted Wilbert, thanks for the 999 Super Chat. Happy birthday to your wife, Sarah. And Snazzy Fly, thank you for the five dollar super chat, and thank you. Tried Juice Force, I did. I don't like it as much as as. Uh, oh wait a second, this is Juice Force. You dingaling. Try Juice Force, Scotty. <laughs> I'm the demon. Hooray! Can I use demon powers? You got Cat's name right for once? She's not here to hear it. I did try it. I hate it even though. <laughs> Wee! I love it. being a demon. So is, is John a demon? Look, it's a girl. And a guy working on their truck. How's it going? I'm Father John, and I'm here to save the day. Candy tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's definitely going to be some candy in this tunnel. Anybody that labels a tunnel candy tunnel, you're not going to have a good time. And that's a Scotty Blades promise. Or as the League of Blades likes to say, a Winchester promise. 69-69, Fern Gully! Free candy, y'all! Woo! 69-69, Fern! Fern told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said my, my. Flash is fast, Flash is cool. Francois Sapa, Flash ain't no dude. I sang your wife happy birthday. Death awaits. All right, Father John. You're down here in the sewers. You're probably going to find some people on crack cocaine. You can shoot them too, I guess. Since that's your thing, you know. Does that say slay? No, it doesn't say slay. Candy Tunnel, does it come with ice cream? Snazzy, do you think candy is ice cream? You asked for it? No, you would hope me saying I hate this song, you guys would be like, you know what? I like Scotty Blades. Maybe I won't play that song repetitively over and over and over for the rest of all time. Alistar, is that the name of the first pastor that died? Yes, girl, play. Where's the candy? <laughs> Multiple officers wounded, one dead, and sewer tunnel shootout. 
Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. <laughs> anyway, witnesses say that they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspect murderer Joe Bowman, a.k.a. the Candy Store Killer, was allegedly to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, but efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Oh, shit. So basically, the candy, the candy store killer took refuge here in these sewers, and the cops came to get him, and there was a shootout. What I just heard, we need to play every 15 minutes? Just kidding, I'm not that evil. That's Kern. Yes, Kern is very evil. You're right. We listen to the opposite of everything you say? It's true. I love that song that you guys think that I hate. I love it. Please play more Jensen Ankles music. Satin lives! Yep, I've got satin sheets. Oh, did you guys see the great? Five, Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said my my. Flash is fast, Flash is cool. Francois Sapa, Flash ain't no dude. Creepy things in sewer. That's true. Creepy things happen in sewers. <gasps> Crimson Dragon, did you see that? You're actually paying attention and trying to be a good community member and not being some jack wagon. Read. I can't read. I'm sure somebody in the chat will start playing some stupid ass blurp that ruins everything. What does that say? When? When? I can go under that bed. When? 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 When what? When see? When? How come I can read that one, not the other ones? What's going on here? Read. When P? No, not when P. When C? Not when P. When C? When? When C. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. When C, don't. When C, don't. Move. When C, you don't move. Okay, when C, you don't move. Got it. Well, excuse me, Mr. Wilder. Seriously, Gene Wilder is one of my favorite people who ever existed. I freaking adore Gene Wilder. Everything Gene Wilder ever did to me was gold. Him and, him and me. Take this. <laughs> A little late on the draw there, Father. Golly. Hey, Dagan. I'm on your ceiling. That was a rough scene to come in. Who is Gene Wilder? Dez, um, do you remember the first Willy Wonka? The first Willy Wonka. See no evil, hear no evil was freaking funny. God, that movie is incredible. Man, that's such a good movie. The original Willy Wonka is that the guy that plays Willy Wonka. That is Gene Wilder. Uh, he was in See No Evil, Hear No Evil. He was in Young Frankenstein. He was in Blazing Saddles. The guy had an incredible career, and he was such a great talent. And I, I feel like if me and him knew each other, we'd be best friends. He was the Waco kid in Blazing Saddles. Yeah, he was in Blazing Saddles. Yep. 
God, such a great guy. Great actor, too. I love this game. I, I really like this game. And I really appreciate you guys letting me play something this off the wall. It's horror. And it's great. And I love it. It's scary. This game is legitimately an 8-bit. I can show of hands in the audience. How many people's been scared watching this show tonight? It's been freaking intense. A little gem of a game. Ah, it's so good. There's been times that have been incredibly creepy. Why am I in these tunnels for? It's a super creepy game. And it's 8-bit. Him and Richard Pryor had a thing? No, they didn't. You love it so much? I do, too. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month, they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. They were in a bunch of movies together. That don't mean they had a thing. You know how, like, um... Woo! Child. Bless you, child. Praise the satin sheets. That's exactly what I said, Crimson. Yeah, satin lives. I got a whole satin sheet back around my bed. You know how Martin Scorsese and, um... Leonardo DiCaprio always work together? Did you guys see that dude charge me in the sewer? Don't move. That was one of the cultists. And I drained the cultist back with my cross. Cross power. God, I love this game so much. All right. So we ran the cultist back with our cross power. I didn't mean that kind of thing gutter. You know, when you're so used to watching the gutter splish splash onto your stage, you just assume that it's gutter. Anyone we get it from? You guys! Tim Burton and Johnny Depp and Helena Carter? Yes, sir. That's a good combo right there, too. Who else does a lot of stuff together? Denzel Washington and... Uh, Tony Scott, Ridley Scott's brother, did a lot of stuff together. I learned it from you, Dad. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be a home to the addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indigenous. Indignant has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been discovered from the drainage ditch. Five bodies. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, a.k.a. the candy store killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Eight victims! We got ourselves a serial killer in this here. I wonder if that crazy monster is Joe Bauman. Yeah, eight bodies, Madison. Shoe Buddy is right. Shoe Buddy. I got lost. I'm sorry, everybody. Eight people in Rhode Island, the whole population. Quentin Tarantino and Sam Jackson. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino is a great example. Try to think some other actors and directors who work together a lot. How do I keep getting lost right here? If anybody offers me free candy, I'll get in your van. Uh, please, Jennifer, I've got a lot of free candy. What the hell? John Ford and John Wayne? Yes. back going to the candy shop yeah grab, grab me some candy while you're at it I got the candy shop what jumps in Scotty's van 
All right, chat. We seem to be stuck in some kind of weird loop unless the game's glitching. You Danny Trejo? When I was a boy, my Nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. And those old tales the people were never strong enough to kill the monsters, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so they would beast would not come down from the mountains and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with here is nothing but human, or not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, oh, this is the cop! One of the cops that came down here to go after the candy killer. This is his note. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around except that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Hey, what's up, babe, Ruthless? No, you didn't miss it all. We're still going, babe. We are on chapter two. Wow. So the cop came down here. So the candy killer is what the news is calling it, but it's some kind of monster. Wow. Man, I love this game. And that's its layer, whatever it is. That's its layer right there. Loads boomstick, yeah. With demon killing intent. Preach, Jared. All right. So we know that the demon feeds off of junkies. That was the cop's note. Is she going to come back? Maybe right here? Can you read the green signs? Or just the ones on the pillars? The green signs. So they would try to read this one? Watch out for Ninja Turtles. I wish. Man, this game is on another level. This game is just on another level of anything else we played. Necro Nico. I figured that the demon's probably going to confront us here in a little bit, I guess. And hey, we're back to where we were, square one, we're just going in circles again. See, we're in, we're in a, some kind of weird loop. I'm missing something somewhere. Yeah, we're up, we're, we're right back in the loop again. I thought it said Nemo. I don't get it, the game keeps pushing me in that direction, but I don't know how to get to the demon's lair. We found it. We know where it's at. But I don't know how to get there.
I think there's another grate open somewhere else. So there's the demon pit, like the demon base, basically. Hmm. You know what's fun about demons? We're going to be playing uh, Diablo 4 in a couple of weeks. Can you break it? I'm trying. It's I had the same idea. I can't get it to work. But I was thinking the exact same thing. Break one of these grates out. Small area in the top left corner. Okay, this dead ends. I can't go any farther. Huh. I don't know, Chad. I'm stuck. Uh, okay, we can't go there. You let the demon come out? I don't know. There's an arrow on the wall. Whenever you see the arrow in that room go up, go up. Okay. Oh, hell yeah! What's up, Crawlshot418? Welcome to Boomtown, buddy. And uh, Atlas99, or Devourer of Crayolas. Way to go, man! Hey, finger bangs in the chat. Good heads up. Good heads up, inner cheek code <laughs> boobs. <laughs> okay, easy peasy. You just, hey, the next time that you guys go into a sewer, just listen to the graffiti. When it says, <laughs> call 999-674-3838 for John for a good time, you just dial it. You might have a good time. You never know. Kern's hungry for crayons. She ain't hungry for crayons. She's hungry for candy, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm going to waddle up this pipe. We should be fine. Mmm, <laughs> crayons. Call 999-3636 for a good... Oh. <sighs> okay. Progress has been made, chat. We're in a new area. The red one tastes like cherry. That's because it's cherry, you ding a ling. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go that way just yet. You're hungry for cra uh, candy. Okay, there's a blood trail. I'm sorry. God, please save me. You know, God gave you free will for a reason. Kick butt, take names, and slay evil. That's why God gave you muscles and a brain. Oh boy. High five, cross shot. Do you think we should go back up north to a, to the tunnel with the eyeballs? Probably not. Did I win? Oh! Okay, no I didn't. I think I got a flashlight. I did get a flashlight. What the hump-tastic voyage is going on up here? No, demons! I can't see you, but I'll kill you. Help, help, God, help, 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 oh, I had him, I had him, I had him. Ah, oh, we did so good the first try. You get on, get out of here now, Matt Damon. Oh, man, they put me all the way back here? Let's just see what's inside the tunnel with all the purple graffiti on it. Or the abouge. Nah, we better get the flashlight. What's up, Chris Foltz? Happy Tuesday to you, man. Welcome to Boomtown. Is there a button to strafe? You know what's weird, Dagan? 
When I first read that, I read, is there a burrito to stab? Hey, Scotty. Is there a burrito to stab? What the hell's Dagan talking about? I don't know why I read that that way. Anyway, let's go back to Demon Slaying. There's somebody else in here with me besides this guy. The purple headed dude. The twins! The twins! Remember the twins from the story? They're here with me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. The twins are here. Oh, the tw I don't know why this game gets me as much as it does, but it does. So the girl that we exercised in the first chapter, her brother and sister, the twins, are here with me. Did it say go away, please? I mean, probably. Scotty Blades, fish, <laughs> professional burrito slayer. That's right. Never forget. Madison, we need a dedicated Facebook group to support the burritos for this difficult trying time. It is scary. So scary. I have been more scared playing this 8-bit graphic game than any of the high definition graphic games we've played for the past three or four months. This game's got more character, more sputska, more everything. How did RE4 go earlier today? Um, did Papa get the boat started on Fresh Run? Nah, I didn't get it started on Fresh Run. I'm going to reach out to the developer. Who's that guy? I'm going to reach out to the developer and see why it keeps crashing. Sputska. Yeah, that's a word, Zach. You were there. There's a word. It's a Jewish word, maybe? Haberdashery? No, get the burritos out of there. Save the burritos. I don't have a problem with burritos. Twins, nice. Unless it's Arnold and Danny. You know me. Anything Arnold Schwarzenegger's in, I love. Chutzpah. Not Spudska. Chutzpah. You mean Chutzpah. Yes. Chutzpah, not Spudska. Get the burritos out of chat. We're trying to. <laughs> We're trying... <laughs> Man, I want a burrito now. Get in the chopper. This is for you, cross shot. Let off some steam, Bennett. God, I love that dude. Arnold Schwarzenegger is my hero. Let off some steam, Bennett. <laughs> Where is he? I'll kill you with my cross powers. You can get Taco Bell delivered. You know what's really hurt my wallet, Ted? Starbucks can get delivered now through uh, DoorDash. So, uh, <laughs> coffee and a delicious sandwich. Goodbye, $30. Unclean. Uh, okay. Double fist my burrito. Say, babe. Hey, Marcelo, you speak 48 languages. Is this Latin that we're dealing with here? Fifty bucks? Yeah, it's pretty high. They hate. The light. Oh, okay. 
That's right, evil. Eat my ass, evil! I've got a flashlight now. It's Latin. It's locked. Okay, we need a key. Are we getting a text? <laughs> I don't know. Papa just wants... Papa just said one sentence is not going to cost me so much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starbucks delivers now. On door at least the DoorDash in the Appalachian Mountains. Wow, 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 wow. It's like Dementors, but they're cultists. Wow. Can I cross power them away? Yeah, that was a place up there I had to exercise. The freaking twins, man! Maybe they're good spirits. And they're on my team. Probably not. Why can I not grab that key? Do I gotta exercise the key? No. I got the key, okay. I don't know what I did, but I got the key. Can't make it past the first headstone, but there's a note up there I need to read. We'll try going south for now. Okay, I can't go south, but I got a key though. I guess we need to go back to the locked door, maybe. Grubhub versus DoorDash cage match. We don't. Damn it! <laughs> Darn it! Shut up, game. We, uh, you rarely use DoorDash. I have got to be at a friend's house. DoorDash doesn't deliver where I live. DoorDash doesn't deliver where I live, and there's no, is Splitska Latin? I made the word up. Papa is love. Papa is life. And I love seeing you out there in the audience, George. How are you, man? Um, We don't have Grubhub where I'm at. And you only have DoorDash if I'm closer to a town. I'm way out here in the middle of nowhere. There's there's no there's no uh, there's no DoorDash in the Appalachian Mountains. DoorDash doesn't have helicopters. <laughs> I wish. What do the wizards say at the bar? I expect Tro Patronus and make it a double. Good one. Scotty lives in Fern Gully, pretty much. It's locked. But you know what I wish? As funny as that is, I really wish there was little Tinkerbell forest nymphs running around going, shaking their booty going, Ooh la la! Recover from a violent migraine? I'm working on one. I need to get all these people stuck behind this thing so I can do this puzzle. See them? Back demons. I forgot how hot that chick from Fern Gully was. <laughs> Fix that vibrator? <laughs> what vibrator? I ain't got no ding dang vibrator. <laughs> you got a. I got a ding, <laughs> ding, ding vibrator. All right. Dang it, Ted. Did you just say a cartoon chick is hot? 
Ted. I don't watch porn because I swore it off years ago because I have an addictive personality, so I just did it for my own mental health. But look up safe for work hentai. You're you're going to be attracted to cartoon chicks. There's just uh, it's, they, it, uh, I think uh, that's all there is to it. You're going to be attracted to cartoon chicks. I promise. Have you seen Sailor Moon? Look up Fern Gully. Yeah, I don't do stuff to you. I don't gamble. I don't smoke. I don't do none of that stuff because I have a very addictive personality. I I know what my vices are, and I don't. I don't play with them. Pizza makers? All right, let me explain. They have jiggle physics? The boy they do, they have jizzle physics. Damn it! Boy, this. I love pizza, and I went on Twitch, and I saw a girl who runs a pizza shop. And she has a camera in her kitchen, and you can watch her run her pizza shop from her kitchen. Her family owns multiple branches of this restaurant, and she cooks pizza in front of a camera and talks to her community on chat while cooking pizza. And I thought that was badass. That girl runs a chain, exactly. Yep, she runs a chain of pizza shops. So Daniel knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, pizza queen, right. Her and her family runs like a bunch of pizza places and she just turns her camera on in her kitchen and she she works and while she's making pizza pies, she talks to her chat. And I thought that was really great. You're making it worse? No, I'm not. Half the chat knows what I'm talking about. You're making it worse, John. Jank wagon. You watched a, a uh, you watched a live video of a cake decorator. There you go. There you go. You got it, Father Garcia. I will protect you, buddy. Did you stretch your cheese? Shut up. <laughs> just let me enjoy pizza. Let me enjoy something, please. Just let me enjoy anything. Remember? 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 Let me enjoy pizza, please. It's mine. I grew up with it. It's my favorite. It's in my blood. My family. Come on, man. Let me enjoy pizza. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer. God. There is no but you do have God. But Amy found her soul is at rest. Let us go. You got it. Holy crap! I will say both the Lord, he despised refuge and died for trust. By God, if he I will trust, I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that lieth in darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord my refuge. There shall no evil befall me, for he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up in their hands, and I shall tread upon the serpent. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, father. <laughs> My bad, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, father. I've been drinking, I'm sorry. I will say, oh the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will choose. I shall not be afraid. You idiot! Ah! More this. Pineapple belongs on pizza. This is whatever you like. Pizza is a universal... There's two things in the world that brings everybody together. Pizza and boobies. If I could put boobies on pizza, I would. But I can't. I wish I could. But you can have whatever topping you want on pizza. This is the reason why pizza brings everybody together. Man, you should be up there, buddy. Pizza brings everybody together because everybody loves pizza. You can have whatever topping you want. Oh, well, I'm dead. Don't forget the power of corn dogs and funnel cakes. Jam, those are good. Scotty's setting other people up for more of this too. God, I love this game so much! I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that might feel darkness. I shall behold the reward of... Sorry about that, Father. You'll be alright. I'm sure you'll be fine. Is boobies getting the pizza bar? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Join our Discord. You can put all the boobs you want in Discord now. Don't put boobs in Discord. But in between these horrific adventures, we hang out in the Discord. And you can put all the memes you want in there. There's some really good memes in Discord. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that might feel darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have been the word by refuge. There shall no evil befall me. For he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up in their hands. And I shall tread upon the serpent. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. He will deliver me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. The tempest meets a child on the exalted dominant body. The tempest meets a child on the exalted dominant body. The tempest meets a child on the exalted dominant body. Oh crap. Oh shit! I love this game so much! I love this game so much! It's like being a really scared kid again. I forgot to push the space button.
Damn it, I forgot to push space. What do exorcists and alcoholics have in common? They both treat their demons with spirits. Eh. by its burn goalie. Come from behind me. <laughs> That's safe, Father Garcia, you think? Can I save Father Gar Shit! Trying to save Father Garcia. <laughs> now, Father Garcia, you mum skull piece of shit.
Damn it! I'm trying to save you, Father Garcia! No, the chat's not censored. Damn it! No, you can say whatever you want to. Damn it! And, unless you say fuck somebody, you're gonna be you're fine. Unless you say you know, fuck you, Scotty Blades, you suck, then you're fine. Why is my cross not working? Yeah, their father crosses cross. Fuck. Damn it! Should I care about Father Garcia? He's kind of getting in the way, you know? Father Garcia, you dumbass! <laughs> He's expendable? I don't know, is he? I feel like he's a force multiplier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the bad in if I don't save him. Leave me on the background while you go to sleep. Let my sweet southern voice lull you off to Sandman land. I don't care anymore, man. Four, four hours of trying to beat these demons. Does it not stop him? I've got the I've got the cross, damn it. <laughs> I have the cross.
the morning breaks. Man, he was so close to living. Ah, oh, come on. I was like one second from living. Was that a chip? <laughs> yeah, it was a chip. Man, I hope it wasn't a second form. Jesus, Jones. Let's see what the note says. This animation kicks. God, I love everything about the art style. I, I dig artistic representation. When they take... Because this game, I, I the story, the characters, the stage that it's presented on, the presentation, I care about all of that stuff. This game is incredible, man. I love this shit. John, which is the name of our character right now. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. No, my girl left me. No, my girl. Like the stream. Like the stream if you like having this kind of stuff on your show. Oh. Like the stream if you want Molly to come back. Oh. Oh, he's Molly. I'm not like in there. You'll go in there and you'll like it. Apparently she's not religious, otherwise she'd never leave you. You can leave, but you leave me my monkey. John, it's not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter, for now I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching. Father Garcia. I thought, oh, that was a dream. The dude garbed in gray? That's Father Garcia. I thought he died. Whatever you say, Father Garcia. I survived a nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Who's this guy? I got ending two, the road to redemption. OJ Simpson is <laughs> is OJ. <laughs> well, that would be scary if it was OJ Simpson. It's one of the cult people. Hey, I got a new background, new effect, and new chapter mode. <laughs> OJ Simpson. Man, that would be scary. OJ Simpson is following me. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what two? I There's started. There's a third chapter. I'll probably check what I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. A few good in me. Well, it is midnight, and that is normally where we call the show, and we're going to call it right there. Did you hear uh, OJ? Good to have a night stream. Hey, you're very welcome. Did you hear OJ when he actually went on a radio station and took calls? Someone asked him what was harder. Hey, Natalie. Rushing for a thousand yards and Caesar cutting off two heads in one night. <laughs> Guys, I don't normally play games like this, but uh, I just checked the turnout and the turnout was very good. 
Um, and that makes me very happy. I normally uh, stay away from these style of horror games, but they're personally my favorite style of horror game. And to see a good turnout for that, it made me very happy. So thank you all so much for every single person who liked the broadcast, who hung out in Boomtown Theater tonight, who smiled, who laughed, who got some scares with us. It was a good time had by all. GG's, two good shows today. We can do games like Clock Tower now? Yeah, we can. Tomorrow night is Chapter 3. Bum, I missed it. Aaron, go yeah, back and start from the beginning. Everybody's fly. DJ spit and I said my my. Flash is fast. Flash is cool. Francois is a bomb. Flash is We can do signals, yeah. Nice little test for the broadcast here. Um, Go back and check it from the very beginning. Almost 90 likes way higher than I expected. So, uh, happy to see that. Happy to hear that. We'll be back again tomorrow for two shows. No, uh, I normally take a Wednesday night off, but we'll most likely be back again tomorrow night. If not tomorrow night, then definitely Thursday with uh, chapter three and the conclusion of Faith, the Holy Trinity. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell the Sandman I said hi. Do some hero work in your dreams. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Warm up your bones in Boomtown Theater. Goodbye, everybody. One more like to make it 90. One more like to make it 90? Sure enough. 88 likes. We're just two likes away from hitting 90. Four new members tonight. Thank you all. GG. GG's. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.